We're gonna leave this in. I want I want this in the edit. What is going on YouTube? We have another exciting brand new YouTube video for you. This is a world first exclusive $210 mystery bounty bounty hunter series main event. I did not stream this. You guys are seeing it for the first time. No one has seen these hands before. I want you guys to leave a like and a comment. Please, it helps the algorithm as well as if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We got plenty of exciting videos coming out. Uh, but here we go, and that's without further ado, let's see what I got up to in the mystery bounty. Alright, we're gonna click call here. If one of these two guys squeeze jam and similarities rejams, we're probably gonna click call. Nope, don't have to worry about that scenario at all. Very similar to the last flop, except we're in the hand and we have trips. Okay. I like seeing a half pot seabed here. We're gonna click call and we're gonna root for like the five of diamonds or like the seven of spades. Something, something middling. Honestly, kings qu or queens and jacks aren't that bad or as kings as well because it does just improve their hands, but absolute bricks just give us a monster situation here. I mean, six of diamonds, that's a fucking brick. We're gonna see some blasts in here out of similarities. Part of me wants to just raise because I don't think he's going to fold. I think with the mystery bounty, like, he's just not going to find folds for some reason. But I guess we'll just click call. Because, like, Sukar could just find check raises here. He could have, like, king six or six four and just find the all in. Okay, that, I mean, I don't think he's going to have king four. That would have raised flop or king six. That would have raised turn. King nine as well. I think all those boat combos just already have gotten it in. I just don't see how people are ever going to fold a king here with the mystery bounty on the line. Just a massive, massive start. I mean, I expect to see like King, Queen, King, Jack, Psy call here. Wow. Aces, fuck. Fuck. I mean, I don't hate how I played it. That's a big first stand, that's a big opener. Skyrocket up in the chip counts. Uh, yeah, the mystery bounties are worth a lot. So it looks silly, but... Alright, let's go 7-3 suited. Great start. Yep. Wow, someone just smoked a 1500. Alright, here we go. We didn't have to wait long for this one. Come on. Good start. Good start. Good start. Come on. I'm feeling it. Just a clean chest open. Come on. Good start. A little gold chest. Ah, min bounty. Okay. You know what? My view on mystery bounties are so skewed because I've ran so good that I genuinely expected a big one there. That I was a little bit disappointed, but I didn't get it. Ooh, a very good hand, huh? Lukey Leduc with the open. I feel like because he's clicked call, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. Let's call. Hmm. And a continuation bet here. If he jams, I think we just have to sigh it off. It clicks it. And I don't think we're folding. And if we had an ace or a king, it might deny us equity, so I'm just going to get it in. Go like us. Wow, he clicks and then folds. Wow, we would have fucking... Sp Honestly, check calling turn would have been spicy. Let's go. All right, we're going to find a call here with King-7 suited. Top pair. Should be expecting like a one-third C-bet. Ooh. Hoping to get called by like ace queen, ace king, ace ten, and not get raised by like jack x. I don't think he's gonna check over pairs. Kind of hope he doesn't have like ace four. I find some river raise. I don't think we're somehow getting the gears there. Ooh, ooh, blinds go up. Wonderful. Makes everyone a little bit shallower, and we get pocket queens. I oh, it would have been very cool if we saw a jam there. 
All right, all in from either of these two would be exciting. Button calls, all in from Sucra, would also be exciting. Oh my god, massive, massive pot here. We're always ahead. He sometimes has ace king here, but it's you. I, I'm expecting to see nines, tens, or jacks. Massive one here, guys. Okay. No ace. Oh, fucking Supra. Oh, he always just fucking does this stuff. Queen? Impressive poker. Nothing but the best. I I don't know how he always does it. Cool. All right, we are still doing okay. I'm gonna hunt for a bounty here and hope that Sucre doesn't wake up with it. I mean, if either of these three rejam, we're always getting it in. It's basically just if Sucre jams, we just fuck off. Okay, gonna be gambling here for a bounty. Okay, flipping versus fives. Let's make up for it with getting a bounty. Okay, nine of diamonds. Okay, nine, at least we pick up bounce. We need a eight, ten, or king. Ten? Queen. Oh, fuck. All right, that sucks. Unfortunate. All right, he limps. We're going to raise. If he limp jams on us, it's annoying, but check then suited for a bounty. Hope to see ace king. That's not a bluff. Might have an okay hand appeal, but... Let's uh, let's give Sucre some breakfast. You can tell he hasn't had his Wheaties yet, so we'll give him some breakfast. Help him along with his day. Wow, all the all the fifteen hundreds keep getting smoked. We've had more, almost more fifteen hundreds. A six and ten or ten. You know, there's only ten of these. We've had almost more fifteen hundreds than we had uh, min bounties. A fun little stat there. Alright, we need to rebuild our stack. One pot at a time. You know what? I typically bet smaller, but if he has an ace or like a flush draw, he's gonna be inelastic. And I don't think I'm gonna get like some crazy backdoor suited float with uh, versus this guy. I think we just get some honest poker with him. I played I played one of the earlier flights and he was like really just trying to get in. Um and just find the day two, so. Uh versus a jam calling. I mean, with all the biggest bounties, it's just a slam dunk. If he rejams, just gonna snap it off as well. Two bounties. Uh, basically, the bounty math is just worth an insane amount. All right, Jack Nine versus King Ten. Can we start building back up here? Eight of Spades. We need a Jack and a Jack only. Oh. Okay. Let's get another bounty. Okay. Okay. This is acceptable. Give me a gold chest. Give me a gold chest and say nothing. Come on. Come on. Gold chest. Oh my. There's no way. Uh, okay. Okay. That's good. It's so good. I didn't pop off because when you get a gold chest, it's that was the min. <laughs> that is a good fucking result. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, and the second biggest one just got hit, too. Oh, my God. My fucking heart jumped. How did I actually hit another gold chest? Okay, we're going to click call with the nines. Someone just smoked the second biggest. So we now have five, six gold chests remaining. Kind of a shitty flop, but I think with nines with the backdoor straight, we're going to continue. Ten's cool, because this will slow him down. He doesn't be 50 with a lot of... Uh, Fenix. And it's just going to scare him. Holy shit. Massive. Massive one to get the gold chest there. I kind of I kind of felt underwhelmed, but it's like, how do I... I always... I have such a good gold chest ratio. Every, every mystery bounty in Ontario, I think, so far, I've hit a gold chest. Just absurd. Alright, check back. That's seven bigs. Okay, we'll believe you. A little bit not sure if, but I believe them. Um, 
I think I'm just all in. Where's the slim? I think we're just all in. Okay. Oh my goodness. Pretty hand. You know what? It's it's funny because like anytime like he's in the tank there, there's a legitimate chance that he just goes, I'm all in. Like 55 bigs deep, we can expect it a lot. I think we're gonna start with a check. Mm. No, actually, I think I'm gonna bet because I want him to start finding raises. Like I want him to just get in like King Jack here or start putting ships in with like Queen Jack and stuff. I don't know what I want to do here. I really don't. I, I I froze. This is bad. I don't know. This might actually be bad. I I mean, I beat some one pair hands, but. Okay. Well, I, I technically saved myself money, and he saved us money by going small. I think having some strong hands as a checkback probably isn't bad, but I think we... I don't know. That could just be stupid. That could just be really fucking dumb. I kind of just, like, I didn't know what size to pick, so then I panicked and checked. I, I think that's just one of the situations where, like, I just didn't play that hand very well, but I'm not going to nail every hand I play. I don't know. Okay, opening up the Queen Jack here. Getting a lot of V-pippable hands. All right, we can take a jack or a 10 on the river here. Seven of clubs. Maybe bets will probably fold. Yeah, I mean, in these spots, typically people aren't finding the buffs. This is floating flop is already like pretty obscure. And if they find bluffs, they usually pick bigger sizes. I mean, Ricky's been pretty tight, but it's a small sample. I think I just go for like a, a meaningless like bluff size where I'm just trying to target like auto folds from pocket pairs and stuff. I mean, big blind calls. I think when big blind calls, he's probably just not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to give this one up. Yeah, usually when big blind calls, they just have something. I'm going to go back to that ace sand right real quick. I mean, I was kind of just trying to figure out like what size to pick because like I probably should be just be going large here and just like targeting value combos. And I feel like he's not going to slow play. He could have some slow played straights on flop. That's probably on the more unlikely end. All right, let's uh, let's what a bounty just got smoked from Money Miami. Fifteen hundred, man. The fifteen hundreds are dropping like flies. Yeah, I think this is like a sussy sussy. I think what fucks me up is just because we went multi way flop, so it kind of just like. Like, heads up, I, I'm a little bit more well-defined in the spot, and I kind of know. I guess he just two pairs of check raises. doesn't have anything. All right, as we come back from break here, we still have the biggest bounty, which is important, left in this. The 5700 and three 3300s. We have gotten a 3300 and a min bounty. Very good start. I like to note as well, the min bounty being $360 is really, really good. Uh, I mean, it's high. It's, a, it's a, over... One and a half buy-ins, pretty close to two buy-ins. This is a good, good min bounty. So every time we're hunting for a bounty, we're very incentivized, especially early on in this, when the chips to bounty ratio, like the, the bounty size relative to chips is massive. All right, we have a lot of incentive to be battling here and hunting for bounties. We have three, four people, 20 or less. And two of the more middling stacks have been pretty tight, which is good. 
Okay, that's a pretty hand. We can go bounty hunting with this one. We can go bounty hunting with this one. Do you, do you click call because this guy says my last hand? Does anyone ever do that? I don't know if you fall for it. He might still get it in anyways. I think, okay, so when it's raise call, call, this, the effect, like, isoing not all in isn't as effective. He might still just stack off anyways, yeah. I think if it was, if it was just these two, I might just click call. Or not call, I might click pick an all in, but if it's raise, uh, when it's raise, call, call. It's a bit different, we're just gonna squeeze jam. Finds the call, I'm hoping to not see a pair here. Ace, queen? Sixes. Alright, we need an ace or a king now. Ace or king for the side still. It's a massive side. Ace, king, or eight for a massive side pot still. No. Oh, it's just over. Oh, it's just over. All right, we cashed for 4K, but I want to see what the bounty was. I want to see what the bounty was. What did they get for me? Min bounty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I mean, the six is over call there is... Uh, yeah, too wide. Um, I mean, him getting in jacks, obviously fine. Flop squads. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty disappointed. We lost money on this one. Cash for 4k total. Uh, wait, I'm gonna sweat this, because I have a swap with Funky. Yeah, he gets him in. Yeah, I, I mean, we cash for 4k for finishing 80th. We got one gold chest. Not a bad result, right? Good effort. That's just disappointing. That was a really clean opportunity there. I think, yeah, the six is called just way too wide. I kind of got wrecked there. I had another big one as well of the queens versus uh, ace 10 suited. I mean, the ace 10 suited jam is just, again, just like not the move. But it's, you can't really do much. You, you get it in really good. Not much you can do. Um, I mean, if we talk about some of the hands that I did, like when I raised called the 7 3 suited, like the. the one thing that's important, especially off the start, when all the biggest bounties are still in, chips don't matter. They really don't. The bounties are just worth everything, as long, especially when that biggest bounty is still in. Uh, it's just worth so, so, so much. So, like, it just doesn't matter to me, right? We just got to be getting getting it in. It's like, the relative... Like, if we had, like, 30 bigs, I'm not going to raise call there. But when we have, we're sitting on 80. It just doesn't matter. Um, the Jack-9 off call that got us the biggest bounty... Another clean, pristine spot. And there's, oh, we're just going to be V-pipping, raising, and just attacking a lot. I mean, mystery bounties, you're supposed to be hunting and going crazy for bounties. That's kind of why I don't like streaming it, because I don't want people to know what I'm up to. And I don't want people to know what I think about. Like, like Sucre was way too tight in this. These two guys were being way too tight. And, like, I, I when it's not streamed, I could talk about it. Um, I could talk about exactly what I think players are doing at this exact moment, which I think is ben more beneficial for you guys. Like, Sucre being chip lead, not opening, like, everything. It's, like, a m pretty massive mistake, in my opinion. Like, these guys, these guys, when, like, super fulls especially, need to be V-pipping ruthlessly into these these ranges, right? It's a... We we were in for a lot and didn't make money, but we still got a gold chest. We got good content out of it. I am happy. Let's watch one more chest opening. Yona gets a bounty, min bounty. Okay, I, I mean... I can't really be too upset. I mean, we got we got at least a little bit of excitement. We got at least a little bit of excitement. We got a gold chest. We got to jump out of our chair. We didn't jump out screaming this time. But I keep my gold chest record intact. That's another time. I think I'm three for three in Ontario hitting a gold chest. And I think lifetime. Like the when I played the 1K mystery, any when I've been in the money in a mystery bounty, like live and online, I have a sick ratio of hitting gold chests. I am on point unfortunately we can't deep run too much further it is what it is though i think uh yeah again we've, we've talked about it before hopefully you guys enjoy the video uh ggs um and yeah we're just gonna have to head out we will see you guys on another video don't forget to like and comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already take care guys have a good one